So you can see that we got the cross brace cut and then we got the two 10 foot two by fours. And what I'm doing is going to be checking just to make sure that uh, this piece isn't going to be too, uh, either too wide or too narrow. So it looks like the piece fits just like it should on both sides. And then we're gonna get these nailed in and uh, then we'll get it stapled down. All right, so we are getting ready to lay down the floor and the easiest way to do this is just unroll a little bit and get it so that you can lay it flat on there. And what we'll do now is go ahead and staple the corners. So we'll do that corner right there and then we'll come over to this side and we'll do this corner as well. And now I can go ahead and roll the whole entire thing out or about halfway and get some of it stapled down and then work my way through it. So after getting this all stapled down, you guys can see I have a, a little bit extra right here. And we don't want to leave this overhanging. It'll stab you and stuff like that if you're trying to walk around it. And the building process will go a lot harder with it in place. So what I got is just an angle grinder. And I'm going to come right along this seam and just cut that section right off and get it out of the way. After you guys have gotten the bottom all created and made up, you want to go ahead and repeat the process with the top, except for the wire that's in the uh, in the floor. This is not going to have that same type of wire. So let's go ahead and get this nailed up, and then we'll move on with legs. Working on the legs, and as you can see, this is how we're going to attach them. These legs are four feet uh, in length. I've already tested them on a different. I raised the uh, rabbit run up with these just to see how they would do and at what height I wanted them and uh, four feet was a perfect height that I really liked them so uh, that's what I'm going to go with and I'm going to attach it right there again this is the top section and then we'll attach the bottom section next all right guys I know the shop's kind of messy and it's hard to see but as you can see that we're uh, standing up right now with the uh, whole unit this right here is the top and what we're going to do is slide the bottom up in here and then use clamps to hold it in a position while we tack it just like the top all right so you can see that i got a mark right here with an x and it's uh helping me to know that this is the very top of the floor and the floor has got to be down here and uh, i measured 18 inches off the top of the leg coming down so what i will do now to help me out with this next little piece is i will take a clamp I need to do it the other way and I will just squeeze it on to this leg and also the other one then I'll be able to put this up on top of them and it'll help me just to be able to rest this end up while I get the other end tacked in place so as you can see this is what I'm talking about it's not attached by any means but it's just resting on those clamps from the bottom side now i can go work on the other end all right guys so as you guys can see we have clamps on here and this is flushed up right here this clamp is actually holding the two pieces together 
and it is flushed up with the line if I can show you guys it's flushed up on that top line so this side is clamped along with that one and the far side is just resting on some clamps very close to the same location we'll just get this side nailed in we can remove these clamps and then we'll go finish up that end So I cut a couple of these pieces of uh, lumber and what I'm doing is I'm going to be measuring off of this corner right here pulling 41 and a quarter inches and then I will center this up on that mark and this will go upright and this is what's going to be dividing the uh, different sections of the cage for the rabbits. Alright so I have the uh, side pieces in right here and I have cut some uh, scrap 2x4-ish uh, material from the pallets and um, what I'm doing is I'm going to put a piece on the bottom and also a piece on the top that will run all the way across and I'll attach uh, the wire to that and then I have some plywood that I will be able to put over top of it as well and if they get too hot during the summertime or something I can take the plywood off and let the air kind of flow through the area or block it back off if I need to. And here you can see that I've already gotten the top nailed in. Uh, put two nails in for it. And I will be attaching the wire to the inside here. So we've got this one inch by half inch stuff on the bottom. On all the sides I'm going to be using the uh, chicken wire even on the um, on the in-between part and you don't want to use it on the bottom because the rabbit's pee is very corrosive and it will rust the chicken wire out very quickly this is galvanized stuff um, and then for the front with the doors which will be right here we'll have a one inch by two inch wire just like this and the reason why I'm doing it that way is because of uh, how stiff it is. So now pretty much at this point all we are really doing is wrapping the cage up and making sure that all of our dividing points are correct. We're just going to be stapling everything together and then we're going to be building face frames for the doors. So we finally got the uh, the rabbit hutch all wired in and I included some wire right here in between the cages. I will be putting a piece of board down. I got it right here on the ground. Um, just trying to fit it in there better. Uh, it's a little bit tight. So I've got it to put in here and that's just uh, another protection between the rabbits and also um, for the wind and stuff like that. I can uh, put it in there and remove it. So that'll be going in soon. And uh, here's the other end. And this stuff is very sharp. So as you guys can see, I pinned down the very ends of this. And if you wanted to, you could actually take a hammer and pound this in, kind of like right here on the top. Uh, it'll go into the ends of the wood. But uh, this is pretty tight. So it'll hold a, uh, a water bottle if you want to do a water bottle or uh, I'm going to be doing an automatic water system, so that's going to be going on here as well. But now, as you guys can see, what we need to do is make uh, your doors. So I don't have anything in here right now, and uh, we got to get these enclosed. We're going to be making three doors, and they're all going to be fully opening uh, from the front section. So uh, we'll start by measuring from this corner, start measuring from this corner, and then split it about halfway in between here and that'll be our width all right so we've got a full plank from the uh, pallet over here and we went ahead and removed all the nails already and what we're going to be doing is ripping this right in half so we've got to split it two and three quarters on each side on the table saw and then we're going to be cutting it at uh, 41 inches in length Thank you. 
So each section needs to be 21 and a half inches in the total height. So what I'm gonna do to figure out what my little side piece between these two are gonna be is I'm gonna put this at 21 and a half right here. And then I know right now that I need 16 inches for uh, for the rest of the lumber until to make this 21 and a half inch uh, front door. I'm gonna miss on the nail spots because it's gonna have some pocket holes in there. Mark on the 16. Get my two good ends lined up. So I got the frame upside down and we want it to be completely flat on the uh, front side just for the look and the wire will actually adapt to anything that's not perfect. So we got that done and we'll go ahead and do the rest of the four corners or the other three corners and then we'll get the wire off. Here is just a uh, quick shot of the front. As you can see it's all flat and what we'll be doing is nailing or stapling the um the wire from the underside well we'll flip it back over and then we'll staple all of the wire to that and the staples i'm using are long and uh, i'm just folding them over back into the front side of the wood and uh, you'll see that in a minute All right, so you guys can see that I have the extra hanging off of the bottom. This will actually get um, put so I can have a latch hooking this and that'll keep the door shut. And the way to get rid of all this extra stuff is just taking an angle grinder and you can just cut off that uh, extra piece right on the bottom side of that last row. All right, so I kind of got caught up in the building process and completely forgot to film mounting the doors, but this is a very simple process. It's just two hinges on each of the doors. And as you can see, they space out very nicely. These ones are flush right to the edge. And you guys can see I've already moved our rabbits in here. So they each have their own boxes right now. There's our black black one. And uh, we got some water and food. And we're going to be upgrading our water to an auto automatic watering system this coming week. But uh, it's kind of dark as well out here. Light's going down. But I have two of these currently built. And we got a lot of work to do. So there you can see both of them right here. I've got a lot of work still left to do on these. Um, just some other things. I want to place a tile in there or something for them to uh, hop on to. But uh, there's Snowy over here. She's pulled out a lot of her hay. We got to get a, uh, a regular uh, box for her as well. We were using these uh, Rubbermaid ones which work great. And uh, she's eating some hay right now. And for the uh, latch systems so that these can't open, all we have is a uh, carabiner and some rope and a, an eyelet. 
and uh, it's not going to come open there's no way and then if you want to undo it you just unlatch it and the doors swing open so i'll show you guys real quick hopefully you guys can see it. it's getting dark uh, so you just unlatch that and then the door completely swings all the way open you have full access to cleaning it uh, doing whatever you need to and then you can just shut it and latch it on the extra piece of wire that's down below all right guys so that was a lot of work i know it doesn't seem like there was a lot that went into it but uh everything from tearing apart the pallets and then the only thing that i really bought for wood wise was the 10 foot 2 by 4s and that's just because i needed them longer for the span to get the three bays for the rabbits into it but uh Little, a couple of tips for when you go to buy stuff. Uh, Lowe's is probably going to be your best bet on buying all of the uh, main material, such as the wire and the, uh, the wood uh, for the 2 by 4 by 10 footers if you're going to do it that way. You can build the whole thing out of pallets if you wanted to, but um, you're going to be having to piece it together. And for uh, nails and uh, stuff like that, uh, I used two different nail guns. Well, I used a staple gun and then an uh, actual framing nailer for the nails um, and the staples. Definitely go to Harbor Freight. You guys can use a 20% off dis uh, coupon discount for that. And then um, that'll help you guys out with that. And any other tips? Try to reuse as much as you can. Uh, our spacing for the height of the sides was 18 inches roughly so i was able to take a 36 inch uh sheet of chicken wire if that's what you would like to call it and split it in half and so i got double use out of a one ten foot section and uh, that helped out a lot there wasn't that much waste for that and uh i can't think of anything else i also busted out two new nesting boxes that I had uh, some extra OSB for, so I was happy about that. And I think that's about it. Uh, thanks guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. What, with the chicken wire, we are gonna eventually upgrade all the way around to the one inch by two inch wire. It's a lot sturdier, but uh, price-wise, it's a lot cheaper just to go with the chicken wire for starting this off. So just to note that. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Appreciate you guys watching. Hit that thumbs up button. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next project video.